sides of the field. A three-inch PVC barrier divides the field into a red offensive zone and a blue offensive zone. Each tri-ball scored in a goal is worth five points, and each tri-ball which makes it into an offensive zone is worth two points. Robots can pick up additional tri-balls from the field or retrieve them from match load zones that are in the far corners of the field. However, robots may only possess one tri-ball at a time. Matches begin with a 15 second autonomous period, where robots operate without input from their drivers. During the autonomous period, alliances must keep one robot in their offensive zone and one robot in their opponent's offensive zone. Robots begin with one alliance colored tri-ball as a preload. This alliance tri-ball always counts towards the same color alliance as the tri-ball, regardless of where it is scored. The Alliance who scores the most points during the autonomous period will earn a bonus of 8 points. Alliances may also earn an additional autonomous win point by completing certain tasks during the autonomous period. The 1 minute 45 second driver control period begins once the autonomous bonus winner has been determined. During the driver control period, robots are free to move about the field. However, if an Alliance ever finds itself with two robots in the same offensive zone, this is called double zoning. While double zoning, tri-balls that are scored in an alliance's goal are no longer protected from opponent robots. The VRC over-under field also includes two sets of alliance-specific pipes on either side of the barrier. These are called elevation bars and are used at the end of the match for elevating robots. At the end of the match, each robot's height off the ground will be measured to determine their elevation tier. Elevation points will then be awarded based on each robot's tier relative to all other robots. For example, getting to tier E could be worth as many as 20 points or as few as 5. Elevation tiers begin at the floor and they end above the elevation bar. VRC Over Under can also be played in skills challenges, where one team competes against the clock, and the collegiate level VEXU competition, where teams design two robots using advanced materials. Check out the game manual, or talk to your REC Foundation team engagement manager for all the details. Official rules and game information for VRC Over Under can be found at roboticseducation.org or vexrobotics.com. To register a team, find events near you, or ask a question on the official Q&A. Thank you. 